Driving in France can be intimidating, confusing, and a bit baffling at times. But if you follow these 11 tips, you'll be cruising French roads like a local. Just lay off the horn, please. Yes, you can wait until France to rent a car, but you'll get a better price and more options if you book early before your trip. If you are considering renting a car for a longer period to get cheaper rate, factor in the price of parking, a car overnight, and all the other expenses you may run into. And finally, factor the rising cost of gasoline into your budget. Fuel in Europe is much higher than stateside. Don't drive a stick shift? You might be surprised to know that most French do. So the majority of cars in France are stick shift, not automatic. That means automatics often have a limited availability and usually cost more. Another good reason to book in advance. Number three. Technically, you need an international driving permit. When you rent a car, you probably won't be asked for it. But if you're stopped, you might be, or you might not. Really, there's no knowing. But technically, you're supposed to have it along with your normal license when you drive, and it's easy to get. Applications are open through the AAA, and permits are valid for one year. Number four, have a good map. On the road in France, signs often won't indicate north, south, east, or west, Instead, they'll use a city indicating the direction. So if you want to drive north from Marseille, for example, you might look for a sign for Paris or Lyon. As you might expect, this can be incredibly confusing for anyone not intimately familiar with French geography, especially when you get into smaller roads, which often indicate their direction with smaller towns and villages. We recommend having a good map or a GPS unit. Number five, know the rules of the French road. Priorité à droite. The old French system was to give priority to all traffic coming from the right. This still applies at unmarked crossroads in the countryside, in small villages, as well as minor streets inside cities. Most other road crossings have some kind of priority system implemented. Example 1. A simple crossroads with priority to the right. This situation can be a village, town, or country road. In the above example, the red car number 1, which wants to drive straight ahead, must give way to the green car number three. In turn, the red car number two must give way to the car number one. The only car which has priority is the green car. Example number two. In the example, the red car number one, which wants to drive straight ahead, must give way to the red car number two. In turn, the red car number two, which wants to turn left, must give way to green car number three. The only car which has priority here is the green one. If you come across a triangular sign with an X in the middle, you do not have the right of way. If you come across this thick line intersected by a thinner line, you have the right of way. Or if you come across a yellow diamond road sign, it also means you have the priority. U-turns are not permitted, nor is crossing the solid white line. Driving in a bus lane is also prohibited. Maximum legal concentration of blood alcohol is 0.5 grams per liter. On motorcycles and scooters, Helmets are required for both driver and passenger. The use of seatbelts is mandatory at all times, and children must be at least age 10 to sit in the front seat. Approved child seats are mandatory for children up to age 4. Fines for traffic violations are collected on the spot in either Euros or Traveler's checks. The fines for not wearing a seatbelt, driving through a red light, driving while intoxicated, and driving without a license are extremely high, and can even include the confiscation of your vehicle. Number six, mind the speed limit or get stung. All French roads from city streets to highways have speed limits, usually indicated by a white and red circle with a number by kilometers per hour written in the center. Over the last few years, France has installed about 2,000 stationary speed radars. All fixed radars should have a warning sign with a speed limit posted under it to let you know to slow down. Number seven, tolls. The toll highway in France, known as auto routes, are marked by blue signs with the letter A. Charges for using auto routes are payable at the frequent toll gates and can get rather expensive. The cost of a motorway travel for a car is about one euro for every 10 miles. For example, motorway tolls on a 160 kilometer trip from Calais to Marseille via REM, almost all of it on toll motorways, cost around 89 euros. If you have more time and don't want to travel on the auto routes, the best to, way to avoid them is to use the Bisson Fruité map, free from gas station which gives all manners of alternative routes across the country. Number eight, parking. 
Look for a blue sign with a P to park. If you see these signs, they mean no parking and no stopping. Parking can be a pain, especially in big cities. France is where you learn what bumpers are for, and people do use them. They squeeze in and out of spaces all day long, especially in big cities. Parking is strictly regulated in urban areas and is permitted only in spaces painted in white. Those marked in yellow are reserved for commercial and official vehicles only. If you see the word payant, then a parking fee must be paid. Payment machines are called horodatures, are located at intervals along the street, where coupons may be purchased for 15 minutes to 2 hours of parking time. You must leave the coupon inside the vehicle, visible through the windshield on the driver's side. The fine for non-payment is about 12 euros. Many downtown areas have modern and secure underground parking structures. Rates are higher than parking on the street, but they do offer more space and longer parking periods. Just make sure to set the brake. Number 9. Black Saturday Black Saturday, or Samedi Noir, is the worst traffic day of the year. During vacation periods, Saturday is the day with the most traffic. The worst is the last Saturday of July and the first Saturday of August. This is because in France, weekly vacation rentals start on Saturdays. This is the day when tourists are either coming from or going to their vacation spot. Auto routes can be especially busy. Try to leave early or travel on another day. Number 10. French Breathalyzer Test Kit After much back and forth, it was finally decided that breathalyzer test kits would be required in all cars in France, but there would be no fine for non-compliance. Single-use kits cost between 1 and 2 euros. In France, the blood alcohol level limit is 0.5 grams per liter. And finally, number 11, items for your vehicles. All vehicles on French roads must have one yellow safety jacket and one warning red triangle. If you're driving a car and don't have both a yellow safety jacket or a red triangle, you could be faced to find up to 135 euros.